I am thrilled that BAE Systems, a company that I deeply appreciate and respect, has decided to remain here in the southern tier after its Westover facility in Broome County was destroyed by flooding from Tropical Storm Lee. In the process, I helped spearhead the effort to keep the company in the region. Earlier this month, I organized a critical meeting between BAE, federal, state, and local officials to find a suitable arrangement to allow BAE to maintain its presence in the southern tier. And I continued to aggressively identify federal funding sources to help the company cover the expenses of relocating to another local facility. BAE has long had a strong presence, both in the sheer number of people it employs and the positive contributions it makes to the community. It was very clear that strong action needed to be taken to support BAE, since its facility, which employs more than 1,300 people, had been destroyed. I've been working to secure federal assistance for BAE through the U.S. Department of Commerce's Economic Development Administration, also known as the EDA. That source of funding can be provided as a result of President Obama's major disaster declaration made in the aftermath of Tropical Storm Lee. So just a few moments ago, I voted for and helped the House here give final approval to a funding measure that includes $200 million in disaster relief funds for the EDA. While I had requested $500 million for that program, the $200 million level is at least a success given that Republican leaders in the House initially opposed any disaster relief funding whatsoever. So now that I've helped secure $200 million in U.S. Economic Development Administration disaster aid in the 2012 budget, I am going to work with the agency to ensure that some of these funds are used to transition BAE to its new southern tier location. We still have more work ahead of us to determine an actual site, but today's news is incredibly positive because we know that BAE and its employees are going to remain in our community.